everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Right, folks, so this is one of those videos I honestly never thought I was ever going to make. And I just wanted to quickly say right at the start here that all the credit for this video goes to my beautiful partner, Ellen, and some of the amazing work she has done here on the staircase and landing. Now, the one downside when it comes to a collection like mine, and particularly a collection of my size, is you try to utilize the wall space as much as you can, but by doing so, it doesn't leave much space for kind of framed movie posters. And it's the one missing link to my collection. Every time I watch kind of movie room tours and I see people showing off their kind of framed posters, I was always jealous of that. And to actually have a staircase and landing dedicated to all of that is such a huge deal to me. Uh, what basically happened was Ellen painted the stairs and landing. And as you know, that's no easy feat. And um, she kind of got to the top of the stairs when it was all done. She was looking at this big empty space of nothing. And she was trying to decide what to do with it. And then she came up to me and I was really amazed when she said this to me, I was shocked. Uh, she said, you know what? I want to put movie posters all over these walls, framed. And I was ecstatic. I really, really was. I was like, wow, this is almost like a dream come true. Because you have to understand, in our house, all the movie stuff stay in the movie room. It never leaks out. And to actually hear those words come out of Ellen's mouth, I was, yeah, it goes beyond joy. So she not only that, but she also turned around and she said to me, uh, if anyone's aware of my channel, I used to have display cases behind me. And she, uh, she wanted to put one of the display cases into the corner of the landing. And the way that this has all turned out, like I said, folks, it's a testament to Ellen's hard work. It's one thing to paint the stairs and landing. But when you see how this is all put together, this is all horror vision. The spacing between the pictures. It is quite incredible. And not only that, but when we completed the wall, we started looking at another wall and we're like, oh, we could do something here. Uh, you know, I'd look, it'll make all the sense in the world. Uh, when I show you the segment. So uh, once again, a huge thank you, my love. Uh, again, I wouldn't be sitting here making this video, sharing it with you if it wasn't for your hard work. And like I said, folks, any praise that comes towards this video needs to go to Ellen. I had nothing to do with this. Like I said, this is her vision and she deserves all the credit in the world for it. So here you go, folks. I'm going to show you the staircase and landing and uh, I really hope you like it. Right, so here we go. This is the start of it. So the first thing that we actually done was to actually put these LED lights onto the stairs. And as you can see, it looks rather good. It's almost like a, a runway just heading straight up. And it is heading straight for my display stand. And as you can see, I have my three masks from Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. Now that is brought to us uh, by a company called Trick or Treat uh, Studios. And trust me, they make perfect replicas. And uh, I am so ecstatic to see them in this display stand. And then right on top, of course, is my Michael Myers mask. Now that is from Halloween 2. And it's the same studio, Trick or Treat. And uh, I am huge fans of that label. And I have to tell you, is to actually walk up the stairs and see these masks looking at you as you walk up is absolutely brilliant. So that is the display stand. That's my first display stand. And this is the wall that I'm going to be showing you. And as you can see, Ellen has spaced out the posters absolutely perfectly. So right over here as well, there is two very, very large posters. One is uh, uh, Colour Out of Space. Uh, I actually had that in a box set and I desperately wanted to mount that up. So up it went. And of course, a poster of Suspiria. And then I'm just gonna make my way over here. And you'll notice right in the corner is uh, a poster of Aliens. Then right beside it is John Carpenter's Escape from New York. And then look at this one, the fog. This was such a huge deal. Look at how eerie that poster is. Uh, I've had that in my collection for a while, so naturally that had to get uh, put up onto the wall. And then right beside it is uh, The Thing and Halloween. As you can tell, 
I am a huge, huge John Carpenter fan. Uh, then right over here is Hard Rain. Uh, a lot of people might be surprised to see that, but we love this, love that movie so much. Again, it's another one of them posters I've had in my collection for a while, and uh, I was always looking for an excuse to put it up onto the wall, and I think it goes rather nice with the rest of them. And then right above uh, my display stand, as you can see there, is uh, Psycho 2. Uh, don't worry, there is a Psycho, uh, the first Psycho is featured in this uh, uh, in terms of posters. I'll be showing these now very, very soon. But then right over uh, under these bigger ones, uh, you'll see that there is a Child's Play one with the original poster artwork. Uh, this Dead Silence one was actually gifted to me by a friend of mine going by the name of Steve. This is a Scream Factory poster. I loved the artwork on this one. As a matter of fact, uh, I've actually done a video. Uh, I'm going to be putting it up, uh, putting it out very soon for this movie. I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on the 4K transfer. Then right here, this is a diamond artwork that Ellen had to do. Uh, it's actually three, of course, three separate pictures. You've got Jason, uh, Freddy Krueger and Michael Myers. Two black and white ones and then one coloured one in the middle. And uh, the way she framed it in just looks incredible. Uh, she's done some great work in that. You wouldn't actually think they're diamond art. Look at that. If I, I'll try it again, folks. I'm so sorry when it comes to the light glare. But trust me, if I knocked off the light in here, you wouldn't see a thing. So that's the diamond art. And then right beside it is another poster that Steve gave me. It is Night of the Demons. I am a huge, huge fan of that movie. And uh, of course, naturally, that was going to go up on the wall. And then right in the end there is Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. That is my favourite stunt that Tom Cruise has done in the series uh, when it comes to Mission Impossible. So naturally, that poster was getting put up. So that is the main wall. It's turned out absolutely incredible. Now, the one little thing that we done was <laughs> we weren't done there. So I'm going to make my way over here. And when I turn around, uh, you'll notice that we have all these smaller posters mounted up, uh, mounted up above the doors. We even have it coming down in between them. Look at that. So uh, that's actually my movie room, my second movie room. I'll actually take his in there now in a second. But right above, uh, of course, you know, seeing I have the, uh, the Trick or Treat Studio mask right here in the corner, naturally I had to put the poster up of Halloween 3. Right beside it, of course, Fright Night, one of my favourite vampire movies. We've got another John Carpenter movie, uh, Big Trouble in Little China. And, uh, of course, Evil Dead. And then when I make my way down, look at this Psycho poster. I absolutely love it. Uh, if you're aware of Everything Blue, uh, they used to give small posters with their releases. And that is uh, the poster you got with it. Uh, of course, John Carpenter's Christine. I love the artwork on this one. Uh, very different uh, to the original poster art. Uh, we found this very unique edition of uh, The Lost Boys as well. There's quite a lot going on in terms of the artwork on that. So naturally, I wanted to get that and display it up. You know me, red and black. And this one down the bottom is Oblivion. That is actually another Everything Blue uh, poster that you get with their editions. Uh, so that's all that's uh, coming down. And then right over here, just above my movie room, uh, you've got uh, Goonies, Dirty Dancing, and of course, Back to the Future. Some of our favorites. And then right beside it, you have Jaws. And then I'm going to make my way right down again. This is Day Live. I was always a fan of that poster artwork, so naturally that had to go up. Uh, the Exorcist, uh, probably one of the greatest horror movies ever made, so naturally that had to get put up on the wall. Uh, Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark, definitely up there as one of the greatest adventure movies. And uh, again, I'm, I'm not sure if he's going to make that out uh, because of the light glare. It is The Shining. It's the two twins uh, standing there on the bottom of the hallway. It is very, very creepy looking and uh, we needed to put that one up. So that is what's coming down. And then I'm going to make my way over here above this door. And we've got uh, Die Hard. Uh, Gremlins. I, I desperately wanted to get that up on the wall. I'm a huge fan of that original artwork. 
Uh, Volcano, uh, I know there's not much love out there for that movie. I don't know what to tell you. I am a huge fan of it. It's actually my favourite Tommy Lee Jones movie. And uh, look at the artwork on that. It looks incredible. And then right above this door is three horror movies. You've got A Nightmare on Elm Street, Silent Hill, and Friday the 13th. Uh, Silent Hill is probably my favourite video game adaption. And look at the artwork on that. It is so unbelievably eerie and of course that was naturally going to get put up so that is everything folks uh, that Ellen has actually done when it comes to the stairs and landing and uh, as you can see we couldn't be happier with how all of this has turned out now I'm just going to quickly make my way into my movie room here uh, it's actually kind of we're kind of doing a bit of work to it at the moment so it's actually not complete but this is uh, my main wall uh, a lot of DVDs, actually all DVDs if I'm completely honest. And this is the other wall uh, where all my DVDs are. Uh, I have a huge DVD collection, I will never part with it. Uh, but if, as you can see in the top there, uh, there's a bit of space. Well all of that, all them posters are coming down. We are putting up brand new shelving. And I am happy to say that I'm going to be putting a lot of my VHS collection into this. It's going to be great to finally take that out of the attic and display them the way they should be. So uh, looking forward to that. And this is my other display stand. A lot of people were asking where was the other display stand. There you go. Uh, I won't say it's in the corner, but it's on the, the far end of this room. Uh, I don't know if you can't make it out because of the light in the back room, but I have a lot of my, my gaming statues uh, inside this, this, this display case. And uh, I think it looks rather incredible. Well, now not everything is gaming, but there is a few. So uh, the one last thing I will show you as well is uh, that is my, my other movie room. That's my movie pod out there. So the stairs is leading to my second movie room. My second movie room almost leads me to, uh, to my movie pod. So that is it, folks. That's everything that I'm going to be showing you. Actually, I have a little, little display here. These are some of the uh, gifts that I got from my good friend David Punton. And right over there in the corner is a lot more stuff that I got from David. And I've actually got a lot of it featured above the door as well. Uh, unbelievable. Uh, David has filled out this room by himself. So there you have it, folks. That is uh, the stairs. And like I said, Ellen has done an absolutely incredible job. And we couldn't be happier with how all of this has turned out. Right, so there you have it folks, that is my staircase and landing and I was not lying to you, this turned out absolutely incredible. And once again, I just want to do a big shout out to my partner Ellen and the amazing work she has done here. We couldn't be happier with how this has all turned out. And the one beautiful thing about doing something like this is you can change it up whenever you feel like it. And to be honest, I'm looking forward to doing it sometime in the future. So a huge thank you my love. So there you have it folks, so as per usual, if you did like what you see here, please do give it a thumbs up and if you could do, leave a comment down below and please share your thoughts on what I showed in this video. And yeah, I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video. Until then, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.